Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening once again. I think we can just kick off now while every other person tried to join. So before we go um, into today's course, before we go into what we have today, I would like to know how was yesterday's class? Uh, in in one or two minutes, I'll, I just want anybody to mute your mic and let's talk. Let's have a feel of how yesterday went. I was yesterday class and how has been the classes so far? All right. This is the second week of this class. How has it been so far? Have you learned anything? If the class ends this evening as you are talking, does it count for something? Like, please unmute your mic and let's let's have a few minutes conversation before we move into the, to this course. Uh, who is talking to me? All right. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, sir. Thank you, Ma. Uh, the class has been wonderful so far from the beginning up to yesterday. And yesterday was actually mind blowing, and it was really interesting. And then it was actually a time for me as an individual to actually unlearn some practices and also cook up some new ways. Of doing things differently mm. on the farm, this uh, it has been wonderful. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you for that feedback. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. So who else want to say something? How has the class been so far? Is it even worth it? Like, is this class even worth it at all? I we just want to know. So we know if we are going to continue, or we are just going to stop. This is the first batch of this training and. If it's not worth it, we might have to, we might not have to continue. But if it's worth it, why not? We can just continue. But we have to get your feedback before we know if it's worth it or not. So who's going to talk to me? Uh Abdulami, Musa, Aisha, Bala, Omol, okay, Omoli that I just spoke. Victory, Salim, Ruth, Mid. Uh I'm ready to hear from you. And yeah, about yesterday class, um, all thanks to our doctor who took us on the class. Yeah, Victory, you want to say something? Salim, please talk. You can unmute your mic and please. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Victory. Talk. Good evening, we can okay. hear you. Okay. For from the beginning of the okay, from the beginning of the training it has really been wonderful mm. although due to network issues i have not been able to join in any of the zoom meeting apart from the one of yesterday and i think that one of yesterday was a mind-blowing one then the one of um how to make poultry feed from giant fly which i watched online on youtube that was still very, very wonderful. So the training is an eye opener, and I would advise that um, vets should continue with it because there are still so many people out there that want to learn and to know new things. Like yesterday's training, ah, it was really a mind blowing one. I learned so many things for so bringing this opportunity. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm, thank you very much. Thank you for that feedback. Thank you very much. Uh, Salim, please, you can unmute your mic and talk. You are, you are raising your hand. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. I, I, I think I've been um, on seats before five, expecting just looking at my clock to make sure I joined today in this class because um, yesterday was actually um, fantastic. I don't know how to um, describe it. You know, it was too, you know, the practical, especially the, the, the aspect I love so much was when um, doctor was able to take us out, you know, as in he stepped out of the office to show us um, the, the, the pen, or I mean, the poetry pen he had and gave a very, you know, vivid description of how the pen should be. I think that aspect make the class unique, actually. And um, if I also want to comment, uh, I think um, the, the the initial classes have not actually been punctual. I do have been following up 
So uh, I'm very sorry for that. You know, the schedule was not, um, well, I got the outline before time, but looking at my schedule, I, I even for this week, I had to just let everything, you know, stay aside for me to, you know, join life. So let me, uh, sorry for that. So um, but what I've seen so far, uh, I think this training should go beyond online. You know, just like some other persons have mentioned in the um, Telegram, uh, I mean, uh, in the group, it should go beyond the online because uh, it was, you know, it, it was, yeah, it, it is too, you know, needed. It is much more needed than even needed. <laughs> so let me use that further me for, uh, so um, I think that staff should, um, you should continue with this. It's, it's actually, you know, impactful. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Salim. Thank you, Victory. Thank you very much. These feedbacks are, I think, what we need to be motivated to move forward, right? If we are not getting feedback like this, we might just think we are not doing um, what we are meant to do. But thank you very much for the feedback. If you still have anything to say, you can please unmute and say it. Um, so everyone I've been talking about yesterday's class, and I must tell you yesterday's class was actually very amazing. All thanks to our doctor, Dr. Sambo, and so God be the glory is in, in our midst today. Though he's not teaching, he decided to be a student today. <laughs> but still, all is, so, all is so well and good, right? And so we thank you, doctor. Thank you very much for what you did yesterday. And it was amazing. We're so happy to have you. Thank you very much. So, yeah, without wasting. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited too with the feedbacks. Uh, that's a quality feedback. I think um, I'm encouraged too. Yes. And thank you guys for, for, for that understanding. I appreciate that you took you, you got value with of your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Doctor. Uh it's a pleasure having you in our midst. Yes, yeah, so without wasting much of our time, today we are looking at um sales and revenue generation, sales revenue generation and digital marketing strategies, you know. Um looking at everything we've learned in the past. How to, how to manage your farm in a digital way, how to manage your finances, how to um, make use of climate smart poultry farm. You see, everything you are doing, eh? the most important thing of all of these things is the market. Do we all agree? Um, Abdulhamid, you are raising your hand. Please unmute your mic and let's hear you before we dive into today's class. Hi, Abdulhamid. I don't know if you are there. If you are there, please um, unmute your mic and let's talk before we dive into today's class. Okay, so I believe he's not here. When he's here, um, we'll, con we'll continue. So like I was saying, please, can you hear me? Uh, Can you hear me, please? Yes, I can. Yes, please. I can hear you. All right. All right. All right. That's awesome. So what I was trying to explain is that with everything we have learned, uh, without the market, it's more like nothing, right? I believe we all, we all, um, we all believe that because it is when you sell that you can even make money. It is when you sell that you can have money to buy feeds, to buy this, to buy that, to make cage, to make pen, to make even the suitable pens, right? So today we'll be looking at um some ways to generate revenue. Um, this way, so some of these ways we have been doing them before. Um, some of these ways we have not been doing them, but we just look at general ways to generate sales, to generate revenue, and um digital way to go about these things. You know, um basically if you if you were attentive from the beginning of this class when we we're talking about digital um agriculture. I told you that the world is evolving, right? A lot is happening on such on um in the digital space now, and we should not be left out. Every industry is moving now. Every industry is evolving, and the poultry industry, the agriculture, agriculture um agricultural sector generally should not be left out in this um in what is going on in the digital space. So quickly, let me just share my screen and see what we have for today.
Let's see what we have for today. Uh, please let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen, please? Yes, I can see the shared screen. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just okay. All right. Uh, everybody can see the full screen now, right? Yes, I can All right. see us. Awesome, awesome. That's nice. So today we are looking at sales, revenue generation, and digital marketing strategies, right? That is how you can make more sales. Maybe you are making, you are selling 10 birds in a day. How can you sell more than that? You are selling five crates of egg in a day, how can you sell more than that? That is basically what we are doing today. And how can you make use of social media, digital marketing generally, right, to get these sales? So basically what is, um, what sales and revenue generation are crucial aspect of any business, including farming, poultry farming. Implementing effective digital marketing strategies can significantly contribute to increasing sales and revenue for your poultry farm. So you want to pay your staff, you need money. Um, you want to buy more birds. Please let me know if you cannot hear me. Um, can you hear me all, please? Yes, I can hear you. All right, all right. Because yeah. network here is kind of bad, so I want to be sure we are all together. All right, awesome. So you want to buy feeds, you need money. You want to buy birds, you need money. You want to transport your egg from your farm to your customers, you need money, right? So that is why we, we, we have said, okay, we need to learn how to generate sales. We need to learn how to make uh, more sales. When you make more sales, you basically do not have to complain too much on um the effect of economy because you're actually making the money, right? Yeah. So um, some key strategies to consider in making, in generating sales, basically, right? Some key strategies to consider in generating sales. Now, the first thing is targeted marketing campaign, right? So first thing I would like you to know is that um, everybody on earth is not your customer, regardless of whatever you are selling, regardless of how, how big or uh, um, how affordable what you're selling is or how expensive what you're selling is. Everybody is not your customer. I think we all need to get that one straight first, right? Once you know that, then you have to sit down and say, okay, who are my customer, right? It is now your customers that you can target and send and um, your customers that you can now target and say, okay, you know what? This, I want to market to this set of people. Now, a vegetarian does not eat meat, does not eat anything that has blood. So automatically a vegetarian is not a poultry farmer's um, customer because we want to sell our chickens. They don't eat chicken, right? Now you target, now as a, as a let me give you an example. As a layer farmer, right? You are presently selling just egg. Now, who are you going to target as your customers? You can target schools. Schools, why? Because they have a lot of children in schools and egg. Children, uh, most parents give their children egg to school. So you can target schools as your um for your marketing campaign. You can target supermarkets, stores. Those are like places you can target for your marketing. So um you cannot now when I talk about targeting, right? You know, um if you use the social media very well, yeah, if you use social media very well you would get to a point where you have to run an advert. You can basically run adverts. And when you run this advert, you can target who and who you want on your, um, who you want to see. Now, when we, when we did an advert for this training, we, we stated the kind of people we want. We wanted farmers, we wanted entrepreneurs, we want um, consultants, we want trainers, 
those are the people we target that we want. And those are the people that the advert will get to. And that is why you are here. So we did, we did not target a banker because we basically don't need them. They are not who we need in this training as at this moment. So first thing we need to get straight is that everybody is not your customer. Everybody is not going to buy from you. But those people that really need what you, what you have and those people that you can actually sell easily to, they are who you can target. Now, identify, um, let me read what we have here. I say identify your target audience, such as local consumer, retailers, wholesalers, and tailor your marketing message to their specific needs and preference. Now, one of the customers of, um, of an egg seller are all these guys that sells um, Indomie and egg in the night. Believe me, if you have, I don't know if they have an association, but probably say if you are in, a, in an area where they sell more of that, you can call the boys together. Guys, I have egg, right? Sell it to them in the company price or a little bit cheaper than what they buy outside. And they will keep buying from you. And before you know it, those guys consume as much as five, six, seven crates daily, right? Those guys consume that much. And before you know it, they, you have like, five of them and they are buying like 20, 30 crates from you daily, that is a good start or that is a good thing if you have the capacity to produce that. So um, target your market, know who your audience is and go for them, eat them. You know, um, don't say what if they don't buy. Don't be afraid of no, right? Don't be afraid of no. The worst that can happen is they will say, no, I'm not buying. But when you know this, your customers, go for them. Now, Another key strategy to consider is social media marketing. You see, um, gone are those days when social media is just for chatting, it's just for talking to friends, it's just for um, talking to family. Now, social media is now for business. Everybody does business on the social media. Everybody practically does business there. Those that are not selling something on the media are trying to build their brand so that um, a brand that is selling something can come and call them to advertise. No, you don't have some people don't have a business that they are selling on social media, but they're trying to make themselves the business because by the time they build their brand so well, they become an influencer. Companies will come and meet them, please. I, I need you to sell this thing for me. I need you to say that for me because they have built their brand. Now you need to also build your brand on social media. Let me give you an example. There's a farmer I came across, right? That we actually gave a loan to um. I think last month, I met this farmer on TikTok, right? He came to TikTok, post his chickens, post his bread. He does post all of these things on TikTok. Why? Because he's, that is his own way of going viral. That is his own way of making people see that this is what I do. If you go to TikTok, you see a lot of people there. Different business, real estate, this and that. Different business had there. Go to YouTube, you see different businesses. Even Facebook, right? Even Facebook, and it is very, very even easy to um, to acquire engagement, to acquire sales on Facebook. Now, how are you using your social media? You see, at this point, you are not using it for yourself. You are doing it for your business. Anything that will make your business grow, you should do it with all your strengths, right? So if, if social media is going to make your business grow, right, you don't have to even post yourself. You can just post your face one or two times, maybe once or twice, because people want to see who they are buying from. People want to know. And if, say, you have um, a social media page for about four or five years now, people that are your friends as at that time already know that, okay, this is this person. They know you already. And they will be very, very comfortable to do business with you. So how are you maximizing your, the, um, the power of the media. How are you doing that? You can post your chickens. There are several groups for uh, poultry farming on Facebook, on, on the internet generally. They, how are you maximizing the social media, right? Okay, you don't want to, you cannot handle the eat on Twitter. Use Facebook, even your WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a very good, um, also a good, um, WhatsApp is also a good social media um, platform where you can use to sell. What are you what are you posting? What does first thing is the people on your WhatsApp, right? Do they even know that you're a farmer? Do they even know that okay, if they need Christmas egg, Christmas chicken, they can get from you? Do they know that if they need egg, they can easily get it from you? You can give it, you can sell to them. 
because you don't post these things. It is what let people know you. Let the people around you know you that this is what I'm doing. Post or your post your beds on your status. Post your chickens. Post your egg. Use your if it is just WhatsApp you have. Use your WhatsApp well. If it is Facebook, use it well. If it is Instagram, use it well. If it is any other platform you have, use it very well. Right now. Utilize popular social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to showcase your poultry products, share farm updates, and engage with your audience. And now, you can easy, you can share some, you can also be sharing some tips, maybe how to, um, little prevention of disease from birds. You can share tips on how to um, know a bird is already at the point of lay, how to do this, how to do that. Those, that way, um, that way, people want to follow you because you are sharing knowledge. People want to follow you because you have something to offer, right? And that way, you are getting customers. Before you know it, they tell you, okay, um, so, so, so far, I need this, I need that. These are one of, this, this is another way to um, generate sales and revenue digitally with social media. Now, the next is content marketing. Now, what is content? Content are actually basic, um, simply put the things you post, the things you put out there. Now, how do you package this content? How do you package them, right? It says create valuable and informative content related to poultry farming, such as blogs, po blog posts, videos, and infographic. This content can establish your expertise and attract potential customers. Now, how do you post this thing that you post? Do you just snap chicken and just post it and say, come and buy? No. See, people don't even... Me that I'm talking, and even you that you are listening, we don't buy because they say come and buy. You sell, you, you don't sell, the, you are not selling the chicken to the customers, but you are selling what the chicken can do for them. Right? You are letting them know that you buy this live chicken now, you can eat it for two days, right? But if you go and buy frozen chicken, or if you are also, if you have a processing plant, you let them know that, see chicken, it gives, chicken gives this and that for the body. It gives you protein, the bone gives you this. You know, you are selling what the bird can actually do for them. Not, it's not the chicken you are selling. Now, how did you know, how do you now package that, right? The way you package that and post is the content. Now, if I want to sell, if I want to sell, come and buy chicken to you now, or come and buy it. I would not just post a video and say, come and buy it. The first thing I would do first, first thing first is I will get a flyer if that is what I want to use. You can get a flyer, design a very nice flyer. And there are several um, platforms where you can design a um, flyer. Just like this one we are using now, it's called Canva. This is a bonus for everyone now. You can open an account on Canva and you can design easy flyers, just edit a template and you're good to go. Now. You can design a fly, a very fine one, put chickens there. And then you can come up with a content. You can come up with something like, how do you feel the last time you had chicken? You feel good? This is another opportunity to feel more better. I can just post it. See, people want to feel good. It's not because you are selling the chicken, but they just want to feel good and say, oh, this is nice. They will buy from you. So how do you package your how do you package your content? You don't just post. At times you do a live video of yourself in your farm, feeding the chicken, post it with a nice caption, and it can go viral, right? And if um if 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 a tr if if things are trending related to your industry, make use of the trend. If agriculture is trending, make use of that trend. Yeah, then. Online advertising. Invest in targeted um, targeted online advertising such as Google Ads or social media ads to reach a wider audience and drive traffic to your website or e-commerce platform. So even if you don't have a website now, right? It's not everybody that has a website and it's not even a sin not to have a website, but you have your WhatsApp, right? You can direct markets from any social media to your WhatsApp. Let them come and say, okay, this is what I want to buy. But let me... Let me, let me tell you, you have to, maybe once in a month or once in three months, there are times where you have to actually do an advert, all right? You are a small-scale farmer. That's fine. We know. 
But you see, with 3,000, with 4,000, with 5,000, with even 2,000 era, you can run a Facebook advert. You can run a an Instagram advert that would make you go viral. See, I believe that you have to spend money regardless of how much or how little to make more money, right? So you have to invest money on adverts. Now, this money you're investing are not actually, does not necessarily have to be that much. Like I said, yeah, we can spend 2,000, 3,000, as little as that on adverts. But what you, what advert gives to you is that it's, what advert gives to you is that it makes you go wider, right? It makes your reach go wider. So you can have, you can um do an advert now and you can get to as much as 100,000 people. So out of 100,000 people that saw your advert, at least 10% should patronize you. If you set the right, if you target the right people, 10% of that should patronize you. And that is a good number. That being said, another key strategy you can uh, you consider, another key strategy you consider in sales, re um, sales revenue generation is customer's review and testimonial. So always bank on your customers. You see, a customer that has bought, that bought from you today, eh? let them say good things about you. Post customer's testimonial. Always post reviews. Ah, the chicken and the egg I bought from you yesterday was two yolk. That, demand from your customer please send me a review please send me a review see uh, we used to think that poultry farming is just is just there it is not just there this is a very very good business a very very good business now your customer bought from you you delivered on time tell them let them send you a review yes it delivers well and on time post it reviews from customer post their testimonial even let them let them post it for you if if they are if they are some if they are customers that you have a good relationship with tell them that please you can post this thing for me they will post it for you their friends would say oh you bought this this chicken from this person oh yeah give me his contact maybe you you saw that if everyone is selling at um 5000 and you sell your own at 4800 they will say ah his own is quite cheaper right let them give you testimonials. Let your customer give you reviews of your service. It might not be what you sell. The, the testimonial they want to give might not be what you sell. Might be the way you treated them when they came to buy from you. Might be that, oh, he has a good customer service. Or he, has a, he, he treated me well when I came to buy. Or he does this, he does that. She did this, she did that. Let your customers always give you review. Tell them that please rate me. If you have ever, you know, when um Uber and Boat, when they just started, right? The drivers used to beg the people they carry, please rate me, give me stars, give me three stars, give me four stars. Because it is that testimonial that will make them go far. When you want to order a ride now, you check how many, how many people has this man carried, what's his rating. So let your customers, if you have to beg them that please, ah, please give me a rating. Let them do it. It's not because it's not because of what they are giving you, but it's because of what that review is going to fetch for you. Now, um, encourage satisfied customers to leave positive reviews and testimonial on your website and social media platform, building trust and credibility with potential customers. So, so your customer bought um, bought something from Facebook. Say Facebook, right? She he or she saw, sees your post. I was like, oh, I want to buy this. Let them drop a comment on that same Facebook that I bought this thing from this person. He's legit. I did I bought it, he delivered the chicken to me alive. Let them drop a comment, right? Let them drop it, let them share. You can beg them, please help me share this thing. Right? This is a business you are looking to make profit. So engage with your customers. That will even make them feel alive. That will make them feel like they are they um did business with human with somebody with with somebody that is a human being right because you are interacting with them you are giving them tasks to do and they would gladly do that and that being said we move to the next next one it says collaborations and partnership so you see here partnership is very key collaboration is very key now it says partner with local restaurants grocery stores or chefs to feature your poultry products on their menus or or shelf expanding your market. So 
you have an itchy. See, we need to learn how to write proposals. You have an itchy, probably close to you. They make they, they sell chickens, obviously. Write the proposal to them. See, I sell chicken. I can be supplying you chicken. Maybe they buy it for 5,000 per one. See, I can give you for 49 or 48, or we can even share profit. Take at this point. Learn to let there be partnership. Let them um, do partnership, do co collaborate with people. Go to supermarkets and tell them, I can be giving, I can be supplying you people work. We, sh we either share profit or think of a way you can do it. Thank you. All right, so I was talking about collaboration. Collaborate with people. You can go to a supermarket close to you. You know, there was a time, there was a time I used to, I used to roll with um, all these real estate people, right? Now, I was in a class one time when somebody told me, see, if you want to sell, go to a supermarket. Just talk to the cashier and let them know that this is where you sell. They have people that come to buy from them. And these people have money. They can talk to them for you and get their number. Simple, right? Now, see, eh, we, we have to get to a point where you carry your business on your head. Like, that is your own pure water that you're working. That your farm, you must say. So partner with supermarkets, partner with eateries, partner with, go to them. The worst they can tell you is no. And that no is not going to kill you. In fact, that no should make you stronger. Go to the supermarket, let them know that, okay, I can supply egg for you people. You people have we supplying egg for you before. That's fine. I can still do this. And we can, you can profit from it this way. I can profit from it this way. Go to schools. Let them know that, okay, you, they can, maybe if you want to do egg days, some school does egg days. Tell them you can supply egg for them for their egg days. Tell them, okay, you people have a party. I can supply you the chicken. You don't have to buy chicken outside. Invest more in collaborations, invest more in partnership. You see a bigger, you see a um, processor around you. Talk, talk deals with them. See, um, sir, ma, please let's do this together to make this. Invest more on partnership and collaboration. And also loyalty programs and incentive. So you can also implement loyalty programs or offer incentive for repeat customers to encourage customer retention and build brand loyalty. So you want to keep your customers, right? You want them to keep coming and also bring people. So you can let them know that, ah, see if you, you have been buying this chicken for 5,000 per one, you've been buying this chicken for 5,000 per one. If you should refer, refer me to your friends, I get this chicken for four, five. Refer me to your friends, I get this egg for one, five per crate instead of one, eight. Do, ref let them, Encourage your customers to refer you. And trust me, if your service are good, if you treat the customer well, they would always want to come back. And they always want to come. They will not want to come empty and dead. They will come with someone, right? So always encourage. Um, you can even come up with a plan and say, okay, you know what? Um, share my business to 10 people and get this incentive. Get this package. Get this free chicken, free one chicken or free one crate of egg. Just think of a, a program you can do. It doesn't have to be a big program where you start spending money, right? You basically might not need to spend any money. Just talk to your existing customers. Okay, I am doing this thing. If you can bring me 10 people, you get this package. If you can bring in five people, you get a discount. On everybody you bring, you get the commission. They will be eager to bring in people for you. And before you know it, when they bring in that, those people for you, you also do the same to those ones and they bring in more people and those ones bring in more people. And that is how you begin to spread. And trust me, all these things I'm saying is not a, is not like, um, it's going to happen now, 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 now. But it is a process. It is actually a process that if you follow it religiously, if you follow it and you're consistent, you are going to actually eat the goal you have set for yourself. So I think um, that's all on our slide, but I'm going to dwell more on the usage of the social media, right? I'm going to dwell more on that. So how do you use, you know, um, I think I need to stop sharing our screen. We need to interact now. How many of us here are on, on Facebook? If you're on Facebook, you can just raise your hand. 
Uh, okay. I'm on Facebook. Okay. Um, when was the last time you posted on your Facebook? I do have a. So when I have, I post. I post. Do you have a farm? You have a farm currently running, right? Ma? Do you have a farm currently? Are you like a farmer already? Hello? Um, Mr. Emmanuel, welcome. Uh, Mr. Larry, yes, why do you, Mr. Larry, why do you, do you have a farm now? Yes. Yes. So does your Facebook... All your Facebook friends, do they know? Sorry, um, let's mute our mics. I will call everybody one after the other. Don't worry. Today we are going to interact and you are going to know how to use your social media very well today. So I'm still with Mr. Larry Waju. All your Facebook friends, do they know you are a farmer? You are a poultry farmer? How do you judge that? How do you judge that? Have you made any sales so far with your posting on Facebook? Uh, mm. Okay, okay. You can mute your mic now. We'll come back to that. Mr. Emmanuel, we'll come to that. Good evening, ma. Good evening, Mr. Emmanuel. Um, do you have a Facebook account or Instagram or Twitter? Yes, I I have a Facebook account. Okay. I'll I'm not on Twitter because um I I'm not very active on Facebook. What I do is only when I I have messages, I go there and all that. Okay. But you have a farm already now? Uh, our, our farm is running on, um, how do I call it, kind of a trial, a trial mode and is actually being run by my wife. Why I am, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm planning on retirement. So we are kind of on a trial mode and see how the, we are kind of testing the waters and see how it's mm -hmm. going to be like. Mm -hmm. So our, our, um, our stock is... Um, very minimal. We started with um, 10, then we might, okay. we progressed to, oh, I mean, uh, as of today, we are on 80 something. So. Okay, okay. We'll come back to that. Uh, Mr. John Ojo, please, uh, we can have you. Uh, good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. So are you, do you currently have a farm? They are running. Can you hear me, please? Uh, Mr. Akombi, let's have you. Oh, oh, hello, can you hear me? We can hear you, sir. Good evening. Oh, okay. Currently, I have a farm. Okay. But uh, it's like uh, I'm very weak in the marketing aspects. I'm very, very weak from the what you have. Uh, from what I've seen here, I can see that I'm very, very weak in uh, marketing. So the Facebook that I'm on is for my personal. It's personal. It's not for business. Okay. So uh, I don't. Uh, I don't have a website. I don't have a Facebook for my for, your business. for my business currently. But do you know that? Yes. Do you know that it is actually very. It is actually good at times to even use your personal page to run your business at times because people mm. already know you. Right? Mm, you yes, know you yes, yes. This person is this person. So when you post your business, they would not even have a second thought before they patronize mm. you because they already trust you. If you have a friend on yes. you have a friend on social media that has been following you for say two to three years, the person already knows who you are. And yes, can say, okay, yes, this yes. person is not is legit and I can do business with that person. So from this yes. class, as from this class from today, Mr. Akombi, you need to 
make a good use of your Facebook page. You need to start making money yeah. from that page. You need to start selling yes, your you are right. from that page. I'll be watching. I'll be watching <laughs> you. I'll be watching you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. I, 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 will, I, I, will, I will sit down and work on that. I will yes, sit down and work on it. You need to do that. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah. Mr. John, you, are you back? Are you there? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, please yeah, let's have I'm there. So I was asking, do you have a farm currently? You have a farm here around the yes, have. Yeah, I have a farm currently. Uh, how is your social media presence like? Uh, I do. I'm present on Facebook based on personal, not on business. See, I'm not using your business account. Okay. No, I'm not using it. It's just majorly it's for just personal. But your personal page, are you what? Are, how are you using your personal page to drive sales for yourself? I I've not been doing that. I've not been. I've not been that. doing that. And now you need to. You need to yeah, learn. Especially. You need to learn to do that now. Because everybody knows you. I, I, I think. You know what? I'm going okay. When we we'll finish the class, we we'll talk about that. No problem. We'll come back. We'll come back to that, Mr. John. We'll come back to that. All right, all right. Yeah. I'm okay. Aisha Bala. Please, you can unmute if you are there. Or, or, huh? I'm going to try as much as possible to evening, speak with everybody. Good evening, ma. How are you doing today? I'm fine. All right, awesome. Um, so do you currently have a farm? Yes, ma, I have a I rear broiler chicken. Okay, and how's that going? It's just that the market isn't doing going well as okay. we wish. How have you been utilizing your social media presence to sell your market? I haven't even try using social media. I just sell to all sellers. Okay. So have you learned now to start using your social media to market yourself? Yes, I have learned a lot. All right. Awesome. That's nice. Um, Belo Olarewaji, you can please unmute if you are there. Belo Olarewaji, please unmute if you are there. Okay, I think it's not. Is it there? Okay. Please unmute your mic. Good evening, madam. Good evening, sir. How are you doing today? Thank God, sir. All right. Yes, I sit on the road. Yeah? I have a farm, actually. Okay. But I have not been using Facebook for that business. I'm using WhatsApp. You've been using WhatsApp, and how is that? How has that been coming? Mm, little, little, sir. Okay. All right. That's good to hear. Uh, it seems you want to hear it. Okay, I will try that too. All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Monday. Mr. Monday, are you there? I believe everyone knows that we are learning like this, right? We are learning from ourselves. I really want to engage everyone in this class today to see how, man, you should go digital. <laughs> Mr. Monday, are you there, please? Ah, uh, I guess he's not there. Mr. Ogufemi, my class captain, please unmute your mic. Yeah, good evening, man. Good evening, sir. Good evening, man. Yes. Yeah, so um, you currently have I'm a on... Yes, I have a, a small farm capacity of uh, 150 to 200. Ah. I raise braillers. It's not small. They are mean to feed sales also. Okay. So I sell life and I, I, I process as well. Mm. So most of my marketing is on my WhatsApp. Mm. I major my marketing on WhatsApp. Though I do, I do uh, some on Facebook, most especially during 
uh, festive seasons. Okay. But most of the time, uh, uh, I, I, I promote my business on oh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp through my WhatsApp platform. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Well done. Uh, I'm only the daily con. Please, you can unmute your mic. Let's talk. If you are there, let's talk, please. I guess it's not here. I'm only the other. Okay, when it comes, we talk. I'm Salim. Please, you can unmute your mic. If you are there, let's talk also. I guess Salim is not here as well. Um, hmm. I was going to ask if I'm audible or not. Yes, you're audible. Sorry, I had the network issue. I'm back now. You're audible now. Are you there? Ah. Uh, can you hear me, please? Can everyone hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Sorry, I had a little network issue, but I think it's better now. So, Mr. Monday, you were saying something. Hello, we can hear you. Yes, I can hear you, please. Yes, I was trying to check on my mic. I had little issue with my microphone before. I think All it's right. better now. Yeah, I'll do now. So I was asking, um, do you currently have a farm? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Um, and how have you been marketing yourself online? Well, uh, I don't use the Facebook platform so often, uh, but I think the general one everybody uses is the WhatsApp because everybody goes to that. Mm. So once in a while, when I have uh, my sales coming up, uh, two weeks to that time, start placing the advert there. I okay. do it on my status. Okay. I change my DP. So sometimes it works. They will charge you up. Sometimes you, they will just charge you, but they will, they will, they will patronize you but mm. that's that's the way market is okay you get that um start to be so i don't know if you are there but if you are there please you can speak um, can you mute your mic and talk to me um salim omole dada if you are there you can talk to me if you are not now um i'm glad i've been able to um below your hand is still raised up do you still want to say something Okay, I'll just continue. So I'm glad I've, I'm able to. All right, I'm only that you can mute your mic, please. You can go ahead. Mm. All right, uh, thank you, Ma. Actually, yeah. uh, Shish Dia has been very helpful for me as an individual. I've actually, over time, engaged customers on my TikTok, then my Facebook, then most especially on my WhatsApp. It has really worked. Over time, so I think it's actually a good uh, advantage to my marketing. Okay, okay, I'm 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 glad to hear that. That's that's a very nice one. So I'm glad I've spoken to everybody, right? And let me let you know that you need to see the way um the way a bus driver will wake up in the morning and start carrying passenger from morning to night just because he wants to make um money that's his own office the way a banker will go to will go to the bank in the morning and come back in the night that is his own office now as a poultry farmer as a farmer generally we have two offices our office should be the farm and our social media right now you have to we have to start working our market like if I don't say this thing, I will know it. Do we get that? We have to start selling our stuff. We have to sell ourselves. Let everybody that knows you, 
let them know that you are a farmer. And how will they know? When you wake up in the morning and all you post is your chicken and your bed, you can post other things, that's fine. But make sure that as if, if WhatsApp is the only platform we want to use to market, that's fine too. But let's make sure that one day we not pass and you not post anything related to farm or anything related to poultry or anything related to selling egg or anything related to egg generally or chickens. Just make sure a day does not pass and you don't post anything related to that. When you keep doing that, everybody will know that this is what this person is doing. So if they need that thing, you see, you might just, you might do it and people might not patronize you for two, three weeks, but they are seeing it, right? If you are posting on Facebook, let everybody on your Facebook page knows that this person is a poultry farmer. Post about your eggs. Post about the benefit of egg in the body. Post about the benefit of chicken and uh, meat in the body. Post about how um, to preserve egg. Just make sure that you are, especially on WhatsApp status, right? I know, I think WhatsApp is now like a major platform where you can actually sell to people, right? Now, make sure... This is a this is an assignment I'm giving everybody now. I'm not going, you don't need to submit to me, but you are doing it for yourself. Let us make sure that one day we not pass like this and you will not post anything related to birds or egg or chicken. You can either post how to pre preserve, preserve egg, you can post how to um the importance of egg, you can post if you are if you're a layer farmer, post the importance of egg, post how to preserve egg. Post the chicken laying egg, post your farm. Just make sure that every day you post something related to what you are doing. You are a brother farmer. Every blessed day. Let people, let people see your status and see chicken. Let people see your status and see egg. Let people see your status and see the importance of eating chicken. They would, when they want to buy, you will be the first person that comes to their mind. And they'll say, okay, this person that have been disturbing us with status. Yeah, let's buy from him. Let's buy from her. That is one way to, you see, you um, we have to start selling our markets, bringing the market to the people. If you have a Facebook page, if you have an Instagram page, if you have a social media, make sure that you are selling yourself online, right? Nobody is going to, we have to believe that nobody is going to do this for us. We are going to do this ourselves. And either it comes out right or not, it is our problem. It is our business. It is, we should carry it on our head. Do you all agree to that? Do you all agree to that? Can yes. You yes. So, yes. do you all agree that we are going to do the assignment? You don't need to submit that one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, we agree that we are going to do the assignment. Yes. Awesome. So, yeah. every blessed day. That way you are selling yourself. And another thing is you need to start networking. We need to start networking. We need to start networking beyond the people we have on our WhatsApp. So, you know, um, why other platforms are more good than WhatsApp is because WhatsApp is just limited to who has your number and who, you, who saved your number and who you saved is, is our number. So if you don't save my number, I cannot see your status. You cannot see my status. If I don't save your number, you cannot see my status. I cannot see yours. That is one uh, limitation that is on WhatsApp. But now we have to grow our network. We have to meet people. Did you, you just met somebody today. Try and collect that person's number. And let the person know, please save my number so that I can be seeing my status. You need to start because it is people you know that you sell to. It is people that has your number saved that you can sell to if you are using WhatsApp. All right, and if you are using other social media, you can direct them to your WhatsApp, and that way connect to them. Let them save your number. You save theirs, and that way you can you can start selling to them. A lot of things are a lot of people are selling on this. Um, a lot of people are selling from social media, and you should not be left out, Mister John. You should not be left out. You should be able to say this month I made so 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 amount selling on Facebook, Mister Emmanuel Okon. You should be able to say. This particular and uh, this month or this quarter, I made this amount selling on the social media. The social, the world is evolving, and we should evolve too. Do we all believe that? Um, Miss Aisha Bala, Belo Olarewa, Monday, everybody in this class, we should 
use what we have to get what we want. We have social media. We should use it to get the sales that we need, that we want. I'm going to start doing that now. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, nice. Awesome. That's good to hear. Because it is when you have money, when you when you sell, that you can even think of, okay, I need to manage uh, this money that I have. Somebody that doesn't have money, somebody that does not sell, cannot even, there's nothing to manage, right? So we need to start using that Facebook page that we say is our personal page. Start using it for business. Eh? Let people, let the 1,000 followers that we have on Facebook, the 2,000 friends, let them know that ah, this person, Mr. Akombi, is a farmer. Let them know that Mr. Emmanuel is a farmer. Let them know that Mr. Olufem is a farmer. Let them say, ah, ah, you are posting this thing too much. I tell them, it's my business, so it is my business. So that way we can actually grow. And also, um, like I said in the presentation, let us leverage also on referral, right? Leverage on referral. You just sold to a customer. Let them refer you. If they have to beg them, please refer me. If you have to beg them, please refer me. Please rate me. Comment on my post. Do this, do that. Right? So um, here's what I'm going to do now. Here's what I will need everybody to do. On the um, can everybody hear me, please? Are we there? Yes, we're with you. All right. So um, yes, I'm with you. All right. Thank you. After this class, now, once we get back to the Telegram channel, I want everybody to drop their social media and do where you are active most. Where you are active most. If you're active most on Facebook, please drop it. If you're active on Twitter, please drop it. If it's Instagram, please drop it. I'm going to check our pages one by one. Like, I'm going to check the page one after the other, and I will put each and every one through on how you can um, package your page more, right? How you can package your page more that would be attractive to people. Is that a good one? Are we together? Yes, yes, it is a big bonus. Yes, yes, we are together. So um if your page your page has to be attractive, you want to sell with your social media page, it has to be attractive. Your the customer, your customer have to your customer has to come to your page and they can see what they need there. Now, one of the things you need to work on is your bio. What is in your bio? You need to let them let them read your bio and already understand everything about you, everything about your business. If not even everything, at least a summary of what you do. So that's what we are going to be doing tonight. Um, please, after this class, drop your if you are if Facebook is your most active platform, please drop your um, Facebook name. If Twitter is your is where you are most active, please drop your Twitter and do. If Instagram is where you are most active. Please drop your Instagram and do. I will check them. I will make sure I check every one of them, one after the other. And then um, let you know what you should do better, what you can do better to get more sales, what you can do better to get more people um, visiting your page. When you get people visiting your page, you will get more sales, you will get more engagement, and that way you make more money. All right. So um, does anybody have any question? Any questions from today's class? Questions, please. Ah, uh, should I take that there's no question? Uh, no question from my own end, ma. Okay, so you understand everything we said today, All right? No yes. question. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, somebody is about to ask a question or something. So is everybody saying no question? Um. Is that what we are saying? 
No question from my side. Yeah. All right, awesome. So I take it that we all understand. So if I say, um, Mr. Ojo, come and teach this person this thing, you are good. If I say, Mr. Monday, I just grace. I say, Mr. Monday, do this, do justice to this teaching. You are good with it, Ali. That's fine. Ah, that's awesome. I like your thumbs up. Me too. I'm giving you, so I'm giving you a thumbs up from here. <laughs> I like just that. Just call me, no. <laughs> I just call me. Don't I'm worry. I'm actually having audio issue. Oh, oh, yes. I, I, I have, I have a question now. So okay. I don't know what the, what the class was all about. Please, if there can be a summary. Okay, so. so just put me through. Okay, uh, there'll be a summary. Uh, let's take the question first. There'll be a summary. Okay, so this, this class, the link will be sent tomorrow so you can watch again. But that's fine. There'll be a summary. But please, who, who are, someone wants to ask a question? Yes. Um, uh, am I audible? Yeah, audible, please. Thank you very much. Uh, you mentioned that uh, the handle we use should be dropped somewhere. If we drop it on this chart, immediately you close uh, this window now. Will not be able to access it again. You're aware of that, right? Yeah, I said it should be dropped on the Telegram channel. Are you on the Telegram channel? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Uh, is uh, for everyone that is not on the Telegram channel, we have a um Telegram community where we communicate every time. So I'll just drop the link now so that everyone that is not there can join. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, just give me a few minutes. Does anyone have any other question before I? Anyone has any other question before I give a summary of what we actually did today? No question for my end. No question. Okay. Hmm. People are saying no question. No question. There'll be an exam. And it's only that <laughs> And it's not only that mark it. In fact, I won't be there. So we are not afraid. But I trust, I trust, I trust everyone. I know you do it. All right, so I just sent the link to the Telegram um channel now. So you all can join. Uh, Mr. Monday, if you can hear me, you can join now before the close of the class. So for people like um UP Praise, you praise Matins that just joined, we basically checked um today we spoke about how to generate sales, how to generate revenue with digital marketing, like using digital marketing, using social media. That is basically what we checked today, and we checked out to um the importance of the use of our social media, right? That's like basically what we looked at, the use of our social media. How well are you using your social media? You should, um, also we spoke about um, targeting our audience. So I mentioned that everybody is not your audience, right? Um, it's not everybody you are, you are selling to, but you should have your audience. You should know the set of people you want to market to. We spoke about um, another way to generate sales is um, through referrals and incentive. That's your customers, the customers that have bought from you, encourage them to refer you to other people, encourage them to refer you. Um, also, um, you can also add an incentive, say, okay, please, if you refer me, you get a discount, you get a discount in your next purchase and stuff like that. You can also work with partnership and collaboration. Collaborate with schools to give them eggs, collaborate with supermarkets to supply eggs to them, collaborate with eateries to supply them chicken, Collaborate with, um, just engage in collaborations, engage in partnership. This will help your market a lot. And the most important, most importantly, invest more on your packaging online. Package yourself, right? Package yourself a lot. Um, I think that I think that word is key. That word is key. Package. Let's package ourselves a lot online. You know. Um, if you remember. There was a time when I was small, we used to, they used to tie water inside nylon and sell it to us. Then pure water came. It's the same water they tie inside nylon. 
that there, there is inside piota. But piota was higher. The price was higher than that one because of packaging, right? Let's get to package ourselves. Get to package our product well, right? That helps a lot. So that being said, um, I believe there are no questions. For the last time, is anybody does anyone have any question in this class before we call it a day? If there are no Hello. questions, yeah, Mr. Akambi, have the floor. Oh, okay, my uh, it's, it's, it's not a question really. Okay. But uh, I, I, I discovered that uh, the lecture started around five o'clock. Okay. Whereas what is on our what is on our timetable is seven p.m. Yes. Um. So actually. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you, please. So um, the lecture today's oh, class. Okay. What, 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 you... Yeah, I'm about to explain what happened now. Okay, okay, I'm listening. So today's class was meant to be on the Telegram channel, right? For seven. But I just felt um I think I prefer this um Zoom class more. I think I prefer Zoom class. Oh, okay. But, but 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 next time you should have informed us that uh, there's going to be a change in time. Because yeah. I didn't I didn't even know. I said let me just uh, check, check my phone and I uh, I saw that uh, uh, and I saw that uh, the election has was already on so yeah, i understand. don't know I next time maybe we'll have sent something to us earlier that uh, there'll be a change of time yeah i was actually oh, okay. so, okay, no I was so overwhelmed thank you very today. much i was so overwhelmed we talked today i don't have to squeeze time to come for this class so um we're so sorry about that i'm so sorry next time we would um inform everyone if there's going to be a change in time accept our apology <laughs> Well, thank you very much. No problem. Man. All right. No problem. Thank you very much. Uh, that being said, I think that will be all for today. I believe we've learned one or two things in today's class. It's looking like we didn't even do anything at all. I've learned a lot. So I've learned a lot every, because uh, me as an individual, like I said earlier, we before now, the reason we have not, um, the reason we do not have much uh, uh, livestock is because of the market aspect of it. Mm. Because mm, I can barely hear you. It's breaking. Uh, um, so we got our hands bond. Okay. Can I, hello? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can I, okay. All right. So like I said, I went into a business that I spent millions of naira and eventually I got my hands bond. Mm. So um, I was careful when we started this one. I said, okay, because even if we, had, um, we, didn't, we didn't know anything about um, poultry, so we said, okay, let's go into it gradually, gradually. And that was the reason I, when I saw this, the, the offer for this training, I said, okay, let me take it, even though I'm still, we are just starting. Mm. Um, the strategies for marketing is an eye opener for me because um, we are planning uh, the next uh, one month, we want to, uh, increase our stock and um, with this information that I have now, I know that I'm going to get myself prepared for the maturity of those those stocks and we'll start marketing before they get matured. So it's, it's um, all in all, like I said, it's, it's a very, very high, it's an eye opener and it's very interesting for me. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. I'm so, I'm so glad to hear that feedback. Thank you very much. Right, so I think we can um call it a day. Ha, ah, somebody's just joining. Sorry, eh? Okay. I think we can call it a day today, right? <laughs> yeah, 
So yes, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for thank you for being in this class. Um, it is one thing to come and teach; it is another thing to have people you are teaching. So thank you for always joining class. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for clapping, someone. You're welcome. Thank you so much for teaching. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Thank you. So um, the link for this class will be sent tomorrow by God's grace. By God's grace, tomorrow to be sent. Um. Tomorrow we'll be we'll be looking at how to access finance, right? How to how to access finance. It's going to be amazing tomorrow. So please, um, five o'clock tomorrow, five p.m. Let's endeavor to join class. Okay. Going to, we are going to learn how to really access finance, right? So don't miss it for anything. Okay. All right. Um, have a good evening, everyone. Okay, mm -hmm. and good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you, and good night. Good night.